Hi, welcome back. In this Excel Power Tips video, we're going to learn how to um, concatenate or uh, merge uh, the text from two different columns into a single column. And the way we're going to do that is by using a very simple formula. So let's um, get right to it. Um, let's assume this is a mailing list, and by the way, my usual disclaimer, this is a dummy mailing list. None of these are actual real names and addresses. Um, we, let's assume in this mailing list that we want to create uh, the first and last name fields uh, as one field. We want to merge them or concatenate them together. So first I want to insert a column. So I want to highlight the column uh, where I, to the left of which I want to insert a new column. Uh, so in this case, I want to insert one between what is now C and D. So I'll highlight column D, right click, click insert. Okay, now we got my new column there. Let's go ahead and just put a name. Let's call it name. Now the formula is pretty easy. Assuming for a minute, let's assume we did not need a space between the first and the last name. Then it's a really easy formula. You just equal sign, and then the cell for the first one, ampersand, which is the little symbol right above the seven on your keyboard, and then last name, and then enter. Trouble is though, we want the first and last name to have uh, a space in between. So I'm going to go ahead and add, um, an, uh, after the first ampersand, a quotation mark, a space, another quotation mark, and another ampersand. And voila, there we go. It's now concatenated properly. Uh, you can play with that a little bit and experiment with that, but the basic formula here is an ampersand will connect either a cell and some text uh, or uh, a cell and another cell. So in this case, we've actually connected three things together. The first cell, some text, which in this case the text was a blank space, and another cell. And that's why we needed two ampersands. Um, now let's go ahead and copy using our fill handle. Let's double click this and it should copy all the way down unless there's a break somewhere. Looks like it did. So now we've got these names how we want them. Let's save this as values. Right now you can see there's still formulas in this cell, in these cells here, in this column D. We want to save that as a value for the entire column. So I'm going to highlight column D. I'm going to just control C for copy. Right click, paste special, select values, and say OK. Now those are all values. Okay. Last step, uh, let's go ahead and remove um, the first and last name as separate fields to clean that up a little bit. And there we go. We now have concatenated data in that column. 